A new survey shows how life has changed for residents during the pandemic, and more than 50 coronavirus wrongful death suits have been filed against long-term care facilities. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, October 7, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Nearly two-thirds of nursing home residents do not leave their rooms to socialize anymore since the onset of the coronavirus pandemic, a new survey by healthcare research group Alterum has revealed. In addition, more than 75% of residents said they have felt lonelier following the ban on visitors implemented by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services in mid-March. In September, the agency issued new guidance that laid a framework for providers to resume in-home visitation. The agency cited the emotional and physical toll that the bans had on residents as a reason for the move. The survey featured responses from more than 360 residents in 36 states. Findings also showed how much social interactions both inside and outside nursing homes have declined during the pandemic. 54% of residents said they aren't participating in any in-home organized activities, while just 13% said they are eating their meals in the dining room. Prior to the pandemic, 14% of residents said they weren't participating in activities and nearly 70% were eating in the dining room. Additionally, it found that 93% of residents did not leave their nursing home in a given week for routine activities like shopping or visiting family since the public health crisis. That number was 42% before the pandemic. Dozens of nursing homes and long-term care providers across the country are being targeted with coronavirus-related lawsuits, a new report shows. A complaint tracker by law firm Hunton Andrews Kurth showed that 55 wrongful death suits had been filed against U.S. long-term care facilities as of early September, legal magazine ABA Journal reported. A legal expert in early September warned that providers could see a wave of coronavirus-related lawsuits after the sector saw a rise in cases in July. Most of the lawsuits center around claims that staff members didn't disclose information about COVID-19 cases within their facility, infection control practices, and the health status of residents before their death, according to the report. Attorneys are using the lawsuits to piece together the stories the report stated. The report added that the cases will represent, quote, unprecedented questions for judges, juries, and arbitrators since they'll have to decide on who to hold responsible for those deaths during a period where operators were scrambling in the midst of the chaos and confusion during the worst public health emergency in the century. Providers could be protected from the lawsuits in multiple states. The report noted 26 states have implemented immunity or liability protections for long-term care providers from civil suits that arise from bad outcomes during the public health emergency. Providers also have been lobbying for federal shielding from certain liabilities. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.